I am so mad right now. <laughs> because I have been talking for the past five minutes and nothing has been recorded. So let's start over. Girl, hey. <laughs> I was talking about in the very opening of my last video how I wanted to shy away from the hey, girl, hey, and just start with girl, hey. Or you can do the remix, which is girl, hey, hey. <laughs> That's if you're feeling extra queer. And the cats were fighting just a few minutes ago and it was hilarious, but you missed it. Okay, so let's get right back to where we were starting. My earrings, aren't they precious? They came from Korea. I am all about some eBay right now. Let me get on my good side. And I have a few more piercings than I did in the last video. I think the last time I just had the two and then now I've got the double piercing and I've got the forward helix times three. I am feeling the Asian inspiration when it comes to piercings and body modifications. I have a schedule for next week to get a large dosage of Botox inserted so that my forehead will actually create a donut shape. Look it up if you don't believe me. It's out there. It exists. <laughs> but I'm actually not doing it. I'm totally kidding. But still look it up. It's pretty cray. Yes, so the last video that I spoke on, I was asking for people to donate to the AIDS Action Coalition to help my drag alter ego, Bermuda Bailar, um, win. And I had to perform against three other performers who were wonderful from what I could hear. I was backstage and all I could go by was the applause, but everybody did really well. It turns out that Bermuda won. Yes, I did. Thank you so much for your contributions if you contributed. And I don't have the tiara because I broke it. Well, when you're wearing like six inch pumps and you got to go up all those freaking stairs, you're bound to drop something. I'll be damned if I'm going to drop my makeup bag. So I let the tiara fall, fell and it cracked and that's that. <sighs> So I digress, but things are going really, really well. I gave a speech on World AIDS Day and I gave a speech, I think sometime shortly after my last video in another city. And it's just so nice to be able to go out and share my story with people and how AIDS and HIV has affected me um, emotionally, physically, um, just the whole nine yards. And um, I really love that I have that as a venue to speak um, and that people choose to listen. Speaking of which, um, I would like to give a few shout outs. I know that I, I try not to do shout outs too very often, but that's just simply because once I do, a lot of people would like for me to, and it's not that I don't mind. I love giving shout outs, but I forget people all the time and I just can't be bothered to write everybody's name down. So I apologize. Let's just make this an universal shout out video. Shout out to you. But first and foremost is Kirby. You know who you are. This, um, this is for you. I hope to see you soon. I miss you. I'm glad we got to speak today and we need to keep in touch more often. Come back and see me. You fat batch. And this next shout out is actually going to Rakanka. Let's see if you bring this up. You're one of my many coworkers that watches my video. And obviously that's a nickname. I'm giving nicknames to most of these people to hide their identity. You just never know when YouTube is going to sell our image or the likeliness of our image to foreign websites as Instagram was apparently trying to do, but then they took it back or something like that. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, love you, Mina Rakanka. You're a blessing. The third shout out would be makeup by Kendrina. Kendra, um, I wanted to thank you for following me on Instagram and of course on Twitter and keeping up with me all these years. That really means a lot to me. And, um, I can't wait for your WTF Wednesday pictures to keep on coming. I'll get back to that with you guys in a moment. And finally, I would like to give a really big shout out to Justin, who has grown her hair out to about right here. I'm kind of digging it. I think I need to do that or get a wig that allows me to do that. What do you think? Aha! Tweet me, let me know. Okay, so let's just talk about Instagram for a moment. I love it. It is so much fun to be able to express whatever it is I want to express in picture form. 
and then hashtag the shiitake out of stuff. Actually, it's pronounced shiitake, I believe. Um, shiitake is the American version, just as a PS. That came from one of my friends who's actually from Japan. And <clears throat> there was some big hoopla with the verbiage that they wrote in one of their new forms, and it got around that they were going to start selling our, our images to people, and we may or may not get paid for that. And, of course, one of the cats is going to the bathroom. Oh, it's me. She's quiet. But... They reneged on that. And basically, whether they were going to sell our image or not, and people just threatened to leave and their site was going to go down, I don't know. But I remember when Facebook had that whole, like, post... Oh, sorry, hiccup. <laughs> post this in your status and they won't use your image or whatever. Guys, it is the internet. It is, what, the year 2308? Everything that we post on here, this very video, any words that I put on Twitter or Facebook, anything that I post on Instagram, like that stuff is there permanently. Unless Friday comes and we're all wiped out. Isn't it Friday that we're supposed to be nuked? So essentially, if you don't want your life to be public, stop publicizing your life. Everything you do. I blinked. I went to the bathroom. I had a bloody tampon that got stuck. Like, sorry, that was a little graphic. However, everything that we do is somehow being watched or seen or heard or televised. And we're the ones who are doing it. I mean, I'm not saying that I would, I would not be shocked if in the future, 30 years from now, somebody brought up these videos and they were like, uh -huh, you're not hired because you're a little faggot drag queen who used to talk some smack on your YouTube page when YouTube's not even existing at that point. Who knows what it'll be by then. But all the same, like everything that I post, I know that I'm posting. And sometimes I say bad words. Sometimes I post unflattering pictures. S most times I don't. But I'm going to start doing that. Let me get sidetracked, but it is on point because I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to mention it again. I want to start this Instagram thing and people have already hashtagged it. It's not like it's ingenious or anything, but it's called WTF Wednesday. Find me on Instagram. It's Matthew Francis spelled exactly like my YouTube name. And basically you're just going to post every Wednesday an unflattering picture of yourself. It could be from the past. It can be something that you just took, but I don't know about you, but me, I am constantly like, I'll be taking pictures and I'll be like, clickety click, 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 click. And maybe like one out of the 20 is actually cute. So the other 19, I'm going to take like, oh, yeah. Um, the other 19, I'm going to actually like take the best ugly picture and post it for all the world to see because I'm not always made up. I'm not always eyebrowed and God knows I have many ugly angles. My right side. Yeah. See, like, what is that? It's just like, I don't know. But then my right side, I feel like it's not there as much. Maybe it's just the way I'm... No, I still feel like it's there. What is that? Well, it was right there. Who cares? So basically, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then if you do it, I would love for you to hashtag me in it so that I can see you and all your loveliness. Let's get back to what I was talking about. See, I got sidetracked and now I forget my main point. I guess essentially... Everything that we do and that we put out there, it's out there. And I'm not ashamed of it. I mean, sometimes I cringe at the idea that sometimes I did looks a certain way in old YouTube videos or I talked about this or I was listening to like Aqua Candyman. Actually, I'm not ashamed about that because I love Aqua. I don't care what anybody says. But... I, I sometimes think, oh, God, I cannot believe those videos are still up. Or, God, I can't believe I look like this or dress like that or talk like this. And what was going on? And here go the cats again. Yeah. But it's all a part of life. It's all a part of growing. And I guess in the next, like, 10, 20, 15, wh however many years I'm alive on this earth, you think at my last breath during my last thought process I'm going to be thinking... You know, I wish I had deleted about like 15 of those videos where I so, 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 where I smack and say so after everything. So is my you know. I don't say you know very often. And what's the other one that Brittany Jean says? Really cool. I don't think I use that adjective very much. Really cool. Cool. You know? That's just not me. 
However, I digress. So let's look there. See, I said so again. See, at least I can catch myself. I wanted to say it so badly. Essentially, I just want everybody to be happy. Because that's the point of life. Okay, this choker can come off now. But yeah. So let's try that again. Essentially, I want everybody to be happy. Be happy. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, Moo is getting ready for bed. Let's see if she'll chirp a little bit. Oh, she'll chirp. Momo. Mimi. What are you doing? Momo. Talk. Mimi. Come here. No, come here. Yes, good boy. Hold on. My little baby boy, I love you. I basically have S-E-X with my cats whenever I'm on YouTube. That's legal, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna go because my phone keeps flashing for people who are liking my post. Again. Instagram me. Matthew Francis is the username. Don't forget about WTF Wednesdays. Post an unflattering picture. You could probably freeze frame many of the, the shots. I just look better from the side. I don't look good straight on, I don't think. There's something odd about my face. And I'm starting to realize when I see people on Instagram, I don't have as much eyelid space as I kind of thought. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to feel like I could maximize it, and I feel like I do an okay job at times. But yeah, like, look, there's not much there. I'm making it work, I guess. I did a wing. I know I said I was going to go, but oh well. I did a wing today, I guess you can see with a 210 MAC brush. And normally I use a 208 or the 263. It was very interesting because somebody I knew back in the Dizzy used to do her wing, probably still does, with a 210 MAC brush. I've never used that before, but I used to now and I really like it. I haven't been doing girl face very much lately. I've been actually doing facial hair. I had stubble and all that stuff recently. And then I just decided to be all lovely. Well, I'm always lovely. Look at my cleavage. I want it to be firm, but right now it's just kind of like soda kissed. Do you remember that rumor where people said like drinking soda kiss or um, Fanta? Fanta, Fanta, made your boobies grow wee woe wee. I don't know if it's true or not. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna roll for real this time. It's time to wash the filth away. Good night, make good choices, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Annyeong! And sayonara!